Now I'll move into the live demonstration. Okay, so here we are in WinIdea. WinIdea is our integrated development environment. WinIdea actually stands for Windows Integrated Development Environment Advanced. Um, it's a lot like Visual Studio. It's got right-click context-sensitive menus um, in all of the different windows. Um, there's drag-and-drop functionality, so you could look at you know things from uh, either functions or, or memory, I mean, uh, variables in uh, just by dragging them into the watch window. There we go. Um, you've got other windows, so your watch window, you can add watches. The locals will automatically populate. You do have debug functionality, you can you know, step and everything inside the so disassembly window. When idea works off the concept of an active window, so if the disassembly window is the active window, you can tell by the title bar if it's if it's solid, then all of your debug commands step will be on a disassembly level. If you uh, are clicked in the source window and start stepping, then you'll be stepping at a at a source level. Okay, so you know debugging is pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's get into the test idea. So in order to launch test idea, it's under test, launch test idea. And then it'll prompt me to open up my YAML file. So the test um, specification is actually done in YAML. It stands for yet another markup language. So it's just a text-based markup language um, file that keeps all of the test parameters and all of the environmental Kind of settings and everything, so you you could open it up in a test in a text editor and, and take a look at it if you wanted to. You could even copy and paste sections of it if you wanted to kind of duplicate or 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 even create your own test specification through some kind of code generation. You could totally do that. 